Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and this is another mathematical solutions of a physics chapter motion and you see this type of questions is a very common when you solve uh, these questions and you see the test paper see this type of uh, table uh, which is a velocity and time is given and the question is like the change of magnitude of velocity of different time for a moving car from rest is shown so we know that when we see something written like rest that we understand the velocity i mean initial velocity is zero so similarly it started from zero but you see the time is zero second four eight twelve sixteen twenty 24 so it's a four second interval till 36 seconds but you see the velocity is given like 0 5 10 15 and then next four interval is 15 seconds and then it decreasing so it has some it's it has some uh changes periodic changes that sometimes it's increasing sometimes it in rest and then decreasing so this type of table like a velocity and time is a very common and that is why i'm just discussing this type of questions so if it is saying that the question is uh, determine the distance travel by the car after 20 seconds so it is given that what is the distance tra traveled by that uh, car after 20 seconds so you see the data here you see that from 0 to 12 seconds the, the velocity was increasing but after 12 to 24 the velocity was same so the question is given the till 20 seconds so we need to we need to find the distance traveled by the car by this time being so we can say that till this time it was increasing so this time so we have to divide it into two segments where there is an acceleration and there is no acceleration because we know that when something is travel without no changes of, of velocity then there is no acceleration but in this period I mean 0 to 12 seconds there is uh, increasing velocity so we can say that for the first time that t is 12 second and then you see that u that is initial velocity which is zero meter per second and till 12 seconds the velocity is 15 so we can say this is 15 meter per second so if the data is that 15 meter per second then we can see that that uh, a is uh, v minus u by t so we know that v is the final velocity and u is the initial velocity so from the data we can say that 15 minus 0 over 12 so this 12 seconds over 15 is the data that is given now you think about that what should be the accelerations of the data so according to the data we can say that we can say the accelerations is actually 15 over 20 12 so it is actually 1.1.25 meter per second square and this unit is very important so please take care of it that this meter per second square the unit that when you when you put the data the unit is uh, right so now you've got a so from that purpose s1 will be given out u t plus half a t square so you see that velocity is 0 times 12 plus half of 1.25 times 12 square so this is a 0 actually so if you got that 0 0.5 times 1.25 times 12 square and this is 90 meter so we got the the distance traveled by the car till 12 seconds but you see after that 
that 12 to 20 that is 8 seconds so then the second phase second phase where there is no change of velocity so we can say that in second phase the time is 8 second and the velocity was initially 12 15 and till 20 it is same 15 so you can say this is 15 meter per second and the distance traveled by this this time being is vt you know that in case of in case of a velocity when it is not changing this is s equal vt so we can see that 8 times 15 which is uh, which is actually 15 times 8 is 120 meter is the distance traveled by this 8 seconds so this is the distance traveled by the car by 12 seconds and now you got by 8 seconds so in 20 seconds so we can see that in 20 seconds it traveled 120 plus 90 meter so it's all together 210 meter so this is the distance traveled by the car after 20 seconds according to the given data so this is very simple i think because you know uh, this is simple but there are there are some critical type of uh, questions and there are some critical type of um, problems that can be given in the steam but here this is a primary level questions so secondly you see that according to the given steam draw the graph and explain the nature of the accelerations for different parts so if we see the data and if we want to know that what should be the nature of the graph and we need to we need to draw it so we would need a, a, a pencil and then we can draw it so think about it if we start it then you see if uh, this is the x-axis if I say this is the x-axis and this is the x-axis and this is y-axis okay so what we can see that this is velocity in y-axis and in x-axis this is time so when we see the data when you see the data that 0 4 8 so it's like till 36 but the velocity the highest value highest magnitude is 15 so there is a five interval here 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 12, 15 so if we say that 1 2 3 so we can say that 1 2 3 this is 5 this is 10 and this is 15 suppose so we can say this is 5 meter per second 10 meter per second and 15 meter per second and now we need to draw the time which is 0 to 8 so if um, there are like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 data to give so we can say that okay so from this time being we can say that okay 10 so 0 4 8 12 16 20 28 32 and 36 suppose this this is the data that i have given here so we can say that this is 0 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 and then this is 36 now you see the data that according to the table we know that when it is 0 then the time is 0 the velocity is also 0 when time is 4 second velocity is 5 meter per second when this is 8 this is 10 when this is 12 this is 15 so when this is 15 till 24 so we can see that till 24 we have the data till 15 and in 36 this is 0 so we can say that the the graph would look like this it looks like this i mean 
okay and then your is data and then we can easily join these two points and we'll get a graph like this so you see that we just keep a bigger distance in case of velocity because we have only three data but here we have more so we just kept it smaller so this data looks like a pyramid shape so from zero if i say this is a and b and this is c so we can say that o a is acceleration acceleration and in case of a b there is no accelerations the same velocity so we can say this is same velocity and in case of bc this is retardation or we can say this is uh, deceleration so we can see that the increasing line shows the time for the time being the changes of velocity is increasing so it's acceleration and this amount of time which is actually the same velocity no acceleration and from B to C this is retardation so I hope uh, you can draw this type of graph if this is a question from the data and I hope you can uh, solve it and of course there are some other categories of questions that are coming in the next video that how to solve if there is something other type of questions come uh, from this data so take care stay well stay blessed see you on the next video bye